Hi, my name is Ross Crane. I've been a uh, well log analyst for uh, more than 50 years, although uh, I've taken a few side trips into other aspects of the oil and gas industry, like uh, seismic data processing, uh, cash flow analysis, reservoir engineering, and so on. But log analysis or petrophysics has always been my first love, and I uh, practice it daily, even today, and uh, I've been teaching courses in log analysis since about 1978. This is lecture 10 of your integrated petrophysical course. Uh, so far we've talked only about oil and water in the wells we've uh, worked on. Today we're going to talk about gas reservoirs and the uh, special needs that they have from a quantitative log analysis point of view. In the last lecture we talked about gas corrections to the sonic the density and the neutron when they're uh, used individually. Uh, these corrections are pretty arbitrary and require some outside information such as uh, core porosity or density neutron logs in other wells. Uh, this lecture will cover gas effects on the density neutron combination and we'll restrict it to sandstones and shaley sands. Uh, we'll talk about carbonate reservoirs with gas a little later. We'll do this by uh, doing first of all visual analysis and then quantitative analysis for two specific exercises. One will be a uh, gas zone and a companion well where the gas has been partially depleted so that you can see what a depleted gas zone looks like. That well happens to be a tar sand well also so we'll talk a bit about tar sands on the way through. The second exercise in uh, this lecture is a uh, very clean gas sand over part of the interval, quite shaley gas sand elsewhere, and then above the gas sand is what we would call today a gas shale. This is a very shaley or very silty region with very low porosity but still full of gas and uh, we are presently uh, exploring and completing wells of this type. Enjoy yourself, it's quite an adventure and I think you will learn a lot from my 50 years of experience. So have fun.